let's go let's go so today we are going to talk about obviously let me forgot my intro what is going on my people you know who this is the one the only never duplicated solano peru 200 subscribers welcome to that s to the o fam thank you guys so much for joining me really does mean a lot that you guys are still here watching me rant over fragrances now if you happen to be new to this channel and you like fragrance related content please hit that subscribe button if not Thank you either way for coming. I know you guys are just here to find out about the fragrances. But please hit that, that, that thumbs up button. And we'll gladly appreciate it. And we'll show YouTube that you like this type of content. Now without further ado, here we go. We got Neon 4 by Thomas Cosmala by Paris. So top notes. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't even have to go in there. Wow. But anyway, let's get on with it. Let's open this up. And let's see what this is all about. Well, anyway, the box, the front, the back it gives you the notes. And it has, oh, yeah. let me tell you what I want to do. So here's the bottle. The neon four hopefully it catches it on there it does the box the bottom it tells you there's 100 ml 3.3 and yeah the box it kind of reminds me of back in the day when we used to have like those uh colored tie-dye shirts so here we go there's the sprayer ah hmm. wowzers I kind of get like a like a spritey vibe, like yeah, like a spritey fizzy vibe. There we go. On the opening, wow, it's nice, fruity, musky. Not a bad fragrance. I have to say, I could see this being worn out in the hot days. Fizzy, fruity, musky fragrance. That's what I get right now. Okay, let's go look at the notes as always. Cause, you know we want to be on point and see what we got what notes we got so it is number four neon by thomas yeah thomas cosmala so let's go with the notes let's go neon and we got like i said citrus sweet fruity oceanic Tropical fresh green aquatic fresh spice. Okay. Oh wow. The pimento, it's a fruit. A yuzu, mandarin, I did say citrus, mango, melon, galabon, oceanic note, um the Heinies solar notes. What the hell is solar notes? So according to people, some people say this has like a baccarat rouge vibe, but I don't get it. But this has a similar, some of the same, say similar notes to Block A from Mind Game. So let me see. Hold on. Now, like I said, it said it has a similar vibe to Block A. But to me, no, it doesn't have a similar vibe. Maybe that melon is giving it that vibe of Block A, but this one has more, let's say, if Baccarat Rouge had melon, there we go. A little bit, of, I get that Baccarat Rouge vibe, but it does, maybe if it had like a little bit of melon, this will remind me exactly of Baccarat Rouge. But a better twist and cheaper alternative. But I get more fizziness in this fragrance and I get the fruitiness that comes out with this. From this one, I know this is gonna be a people pleaser. I know this is a uh, dumb reach. It has the fruitiness, it has the vibe of Baccarat Rouge, so I do see both sex gravitating to it. But then again, if you like sweet fragrances, and if you like the vibe of Baccarat Rouge, I'm not saying it smells like it, but it does have similarities to it. It doesn't have that cotton, cotton, that cotton candy sweetness of Baccarat Rouge, but it does have that mass appeal that Baccarat Rouge, with almost like that burnt sugar vibe that that one has. So it is a solid fragrance. It's more fruity. It's more fruity, 
This is not on black cane level. This one's also creamy. I do get some creaminess on it. Muskiness is there. And overall, I do think this is a great fragrance. I do see this one wear, being worn in the high, high, high heat. Tropical, the tropical, I do get the notes that give it, it the fruity notes that give it that tropical vibe. And with a good reason. I do think with a good reason this is going to be a summer banger. This can make anyone's list if you're looking for it. If you're looking for a top, tropical, non of or affordable fragrance this one will do fit the budget because it's not a lot of it's not expensive it is mass appealing i do see this being longevity wise very long very long but then again when it comes to longevity i'm going to say this again i'm going to sound like a broken record but it all depends on your skin again some skins work better than others some are drier some are some are just oily, some are just better, better performed skins than others. Some fragrances will work on you that will work on your friend or will work on your significant other. Compliments, again, whatever, I want to sound like a broken record, but it all depends around the people around you, what they like. Excuse me, for instance, I've worn a lot of fragrances that I thought that I fell for reviewers' traps that are going to get compliments, but they didn't get them on me. So I wear different fragrances, and I always wear a fragrance with confidence. When you wear a fragrance with confidence, and you're dressed up, and you're dressed decently, and you take a shower, and you look good, 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 you got a haircut, everything, you're going to get the compliments. Believe you me. Be confident with the fragrance you wear. If you wear a fragrance with confidence, you're always going to get a compliment. But this is solid. I get the melon now. I get the pimento more. The three notes that I get, I'm going to tell you right now are the melon and the pimento, the muskiness, and some creaminess to it. Those are the main notes that I get to it, the creaminess. I wonder what's giving it that creaminess. Hold on. Let's go back to the notes. I don't know what solar notes are. I don't know what Hades notes, oceanic notes. I mean, it can be a variantness of oceanic notes. Like it can give you, okay, well, cyanic notes, when I'm looking at the thing, I for granted that says nuke, uh, neutral and synthetic, popular and weird. A fresh fantasy accord. So I guess a wet lightning vibe, I guess, because those are the pictures that are shown here. Weird. But yeah, those are the notes right there, and I guess some creamy. I guess it's the mango, the mango that's giving it that creaminess. But overall, this is a solid fragrance. I like it. Well worth it. Not expensive. It fits the budget. And I think it will hit every checklist if you're looking for a checklist. And perfect for the summertime. I do see this wearing, wearing, working well in the summertime. I couldn't get the word out of my mouth. But let me know if you guys tried this. What is your thoughts on this? Should I try anything else from this house? And as always, wear what you want, buy what you want, and I will definitely see you next time. And if I don't, it's probably because you're not subscribed. Remember, just because it's niche doesn't mean it's always good, and just because it's designer doesn't mean it's always bad. Peace, I'm out of here. You know what it is. They got kick out of this bitch.